This video is to help you get introduced to VEX VR, the coding platform used for VEX robots. And in this short video, I'll show you how to access some VEX VR challenges and how to work your way through the challenges. Also, how to access the VEX VR, the coding platform. Uh, then when you've finished a project, how to name your file, save your file, and submit your files and work for me to assess. And also, once you've completed a project, how you can actually access those projects in the future. So a little bit about organization of your file. Navigate your way to the education.vex.com webpage. And this webpage, and I'll put, it, put a link in the comment section below, uh, will ha it has a bunch of activities and resources. We're gonna scroll down to this section here, which is all about the activities. Now, each one of these is an activity on its own. So as a beginner, we're gonna just start at the first one, basketball drill. So if you click on that, it'll take you to the basketball drill challenge. Uh, now, depending on your skill level with coding and experience with the technology, uh, depends on whether you're aiming for level one, two, or three. What I suggest to start with is just do level one. Once you've achieved uh, what level one has, has asked for, you then move to level two, and then you move to level three. So progress through level one, level two, level three. Now, depending on your skill level, perhaps one lesson you'll be able to reach level one if you're a beginner, uh, where other students may be able to get to level three while other students, some may be able to get to level three quite swiftly, and if that's the case, you can go back and then start on the next challenge, which is castle color match. So set your own goals, depending on your skill level, and aim to achieve that goal. And if you achieve that goal, that's success. But with all coding um, challenges, there's gonna be problem solving, there's gonna be some challenges, there's gonna be some issues that you will encounter, so some some people may get uh, get held up a little bit, and this is completely normal in the process. So these coding activities will demand some computational thinking and some problem solving skills, and most of all, some patience. Now, if you've found some trouble and you just can't solve the problem, please reach out to one of your friends or reach out to me as the teacher, or go online and see if you can find some help online. So problem solving involves collaboration as well and communicating with people and also perhaps some research online. Okay, so you're gonna work through here. So um, that's the challenge right there. We're gonna be using VEX VR. This is gonna be our coding platform. So to find that, you need to go to vrvex.com. Now I'm gonna separate this tab and make a window of its own because I wanna be able to do my coding here and look at the instructions in this screen. And that's the instruction, the basketball drill. So the basketball drill, what we're aiming here is just to move the robot back and forth. So uh, it's all about movement in this activity. So follow along with the instructions. See if you can reach uh, level three within the lesson. Now, when it comes to your coding uh, platform here, vr.vex.com, as soon as you open it up, you're ready to go. Now this works much the same as Scratch, so it's just block coding. Um, so if you put your block coding in, you can then press start and see if it works. Here's the playground, and press play. And I've just did, I've just commanded this robot to drive forward, so it's doing that. There we go, and it's still trying to drive forward at the moment. So it's as simple as that, dropping the the code. Uh, the block code in and the different colors depend on what uh, what different type of uh, movement or sensors or the different operations uh, for the different color coding. So work through the tutorial. Uh, once you've finished your tutorial, you need to share your work with me. So you're gonna click on this button, share. And then it will download a PDF. I'm just gonna open that. So this is the this is the code here. So it's as simple as that. When you finish your your work, you can save the code, download the code. Okay, so it's as simple as that. To 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 download the code, you press the share button. Now just be aware to rename a project, 
uh, you simply click on that. That's the file name. So if you click on that box up there, you can then call it project one, whoops, project one or project two, whatever it might be. So when you restart a new project, be sure to rename it. So when you start a new project, be sure to rename the project. Uh, so you've actually got your first project and then your second project and they're actually separate. Now to save your work, if you want to use it in the future, you need to click on the file button and you want to save to your device. This will download the code to your actual computer. And here it is down below here. Now the purpose of downloading, so there's two ways to when you finish your project. So first of all I've talked about the share button and downloading the PDF. The other one is saving the actual code to your computer. So when you save your, your code to the device, to your computer, if you click on it, nothing will happen because it's uh, your your computer software, the, the software and the apps on your actual computer probably cannot recognize the code. So if you've downloaded it and, and you can't open it, that's fine. That's actually, that's the way, that's the, what should be happening. So if you want to open a previous project, one that you've downloaded earlier, you need to open it by using VRVEX, this website here, this web tool. So if you click on file, and then if you load from your device, there should be something with the suffix dot VR blocks. VR blocks will open into this VRVEX website. So just let me recap. To save a file to your computer, you save to your device. And if you want to open it up in the future, you click on file and you load from your device. So you're downloading from this website, you're downloading from this website and you're opening through the website as well. So when you've completed the challenge, so this is the basketball challenge, when you get to level three, I need you to save the code and save the PDF. And in your document criterion A in section three, you'll this is where you can add the link to that. So you're gonna write a sentence. I completed the VEX, uh, VEX code challenge called basketball drill. Oops, didn't spell that right. Lucky I've got the spell check. And then get the link. That's the link for basketball drill challenge. So I completed the VEX code challenge there's the link so I can actually go and see the what basketball dr drill challenge is and my work is here now this is where you need to share the PDF and or code now the code is the one with the the suffix of VR blocks now that's going to be in an appendix that's going to be in an appendix. So we're going to attach So I'm going to attach that we're going to have an appendix in this document which will take us to the the actual code and and or the PDF version of the, your code. So that way I can see which challenge you you've done and then I can actually see the PDF F of your code or I could actually access the code and open it up myself and have a look. So this is how you record uh, what you have actually completed. I'd just like to clarify about what to do with your files and how to arrange your appendix. So at the end of your project once you get to level three you will have downloaded your PDF which is the code and also download the actual code so that will have the suffix of VR block. Uh, now, what I want to do is just show you how to put it into a folder and, that, and make it a shared folder so that I can actually access and check your work. So we are going to, first of all, go to Google Drive. You're going to create a new folder, new folder. Let's call it VEX files, the appendix. I'm going to call this the appendix. So there's your new file should appear. I'm going to open that up. Now we want to drop the two files 
that we've downloaded. So I've got the, here they are here. There's the PDF of the code. So I'm gonna drop and drag that into that folder. And here's the, the actual code, which is VR, it has the, has the suffix of VR blocks. So I'm gonna drag that into there. So now I have, I've, so now I have put those two files in this new folder that I have named Vex Files Appendix. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a link. Share. I'm going to copy this link and then I can stick that link in there. So now what happens when you submit your work and I'm assessing it, I can click on this folder that you've created and it'll take me to your folder with all your appendix files in. So just to recap, once you've downloaded your VEX code and your PDF, so the actual code and a PDF, that's two files, create a new folder, put those files in there, and you'll keep putting files in there. The files that you want me to access and see for your assessment task will be in that folder.